So, Bleach is out, One Piece is out, possibly Hunter x Hunter and Toriko, maybe Boku no Hero Academia. Today seems like it's going to be a good day, because I didn't expect chapters to come out today, and that means that if chapters are coming out early for these series, that most likely means that, you know, Tokyo Ghoul, Seven Deadly Sins, and all that type of stuff will probably come out early as well, maybe Friday or Thursday. So that's pretty good news. I'm glad chapters are coming out early this week, because I was missing them last week. Now, this chapter of Bleach, diving into this, it was hype, but also some of the things in this chapter made me kind of like... Okay, I want to get the bad stuff out of the way first. Before I get into the very hype stuff that got me pretty fucking excited for the next couple of chapters. So, Miracle Boy. <sighs> he got fucking back up. Okay, 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 okay. I've joked about this in the past, and I've talked about it, and here's the thing. I noticed in the past 30 to 50 chapters of Bleach, or ever since this arc really began, okay, especially these big fights going on since the Royal Guard, every time a character or a villain's introduced and we're fighting them and all that, you have it to where our main character, one of our main characters, or the side characters, they come in and they're like, oh, I'm getting my ass wrecked, okay, and then they like, okay, I gotta use my Bankai, they reveal their Bankai, Kenpachi, perfect example. He uses Bankai, he starts to get the upper hand, and then the villain's like, Oh, this ain't even my final form, transforms into something else. And then he's like, Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked again, the main character with his Bankai. And then he kicks ass again with something else, or a different type of power, and then it flip-flops back and forth, back again. And then the villain constantly transforms, Chicken Lily, perfect example right there. And I've noticed it's constantly happening. It's happening over and over again. The formula is the exact same. And there's one thing that this formula has been repeated already in the past with Chicken Lily and stuff. But now it's getting repeated multiple times with the Miracle Man. And it's at the level almost as Chicken Lily. Maybe not as grotesque because Chicken Lily was just like, what the fuck? But still, the Miracle has lost his... Oh, status. For instance, me being excited for him, me being like, oh, this is pretty cool. I mean, ever since the beginning, many people have kind of speculated he's kind of like Yami a little bit, Yami 2.0, but still, just having this character constantly come back over and over again, it's just, it's insane. I mean, I gotta give him, you know, props, because he's strong to be able to go up against that many captains and survive. That's insane. But... Just the amount of reveals and all these different things that in this build up, for instance, Kimpachi's build up to, you know, getting to see what's going on with Hitsugaya and his build up with his Bonkai, just all these things just getting thrown out the window. And it feels like, just like, damn, it's enough. Just kill this fucking man. Just kill him. He, he's done. He, he, he's lost his, you know, greatness. He just needs to get off the fucking manga. Like, he, he needs to go. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Because this man constantly continues to revive. And I'm like, what the fuck? This guy just needs to go down. And he continues to get up. So, I feel like this battle overall is being dragged out. I really do. I, I feel like it has been dragged out way too much. And, honestly, it's just is getting very dull when it comes to the fight. It is. It really is. Now, getting off of the bad shit. Let, let's talk about the good stuff. The stuff I want to talk about. Stuff that really made me excited with this chapter. So, we get an update status on Ashida, and we get to see what's going on with his fight. Apparently, Ichigo left, and he's going off to fight his own battle with, you know, Joha Bak. And you have it to where Ishida, he seems to be beaten. He's kind of worn down a little bit. And his fight seems to be off screen for the most part. Which kind of saddens me a little bit. Because I wanted to see his fight. I wanted to actually see it. Because that was a fight I was interested in. But apparently Kubo wanted to skip that. So, yeah. But anyways, besides that, we get a brief dream sequence of Bok. Like, Bok is having a dream of Ichigo. And this dream shows Ichigo with his old attire, his old sword. It's, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it showed his old style. And as we know, Ichigo has two blades now. And when we see that old style, and then you look at Bok, Bok was also in his older appearance as well. Like how he used to look before he got all those multiple eyes and shit. So, Kubo was definitely implying something there. I don't know exactly what he was implying, but it was definitely something that could possibly happen in the future. Maybe has more symbolic meaning, but definitely something is going on there. Because as we know, Bok can see the future, and because of that, you know... 
it, there's a possibility maybe something might hint towards something like that happening. Maybe not exactly the circumstances, but the meaning of it. Who knows? Because the dream that Bok had, it was kind of out of character for Ichigo to come in and just slash Bok like he did. It just did not feel like something Ichigo would do. It, it really didn't. But who knows? So yeah, when it came to that, very interesting stuff. It got me excited because I wonder what that exactly means. Only time will tell when Kubo reveals it. But then we get into the second half of the chapter, like the last parts of it, and Ichigo gets the spotlight once again. The final battle is beginning. It's actually happening. It, it, it's actually happening. The, the, like, the battle that pretty much is assumed to be the final match of Bleach is coming here. I mean, Aizen hasn't even made a move, if you think about it. He hasn't even made a big move yet, but apparently we're already getting this match between Joha Bok and Ichigo interesting but um anyways you have to wear Orihime she actually is going to be very useful in this upcoming fight and I'm gonna say since this is the final battle apparently like the, the you know Balk is like the end game boss besides Aizen of course it makes me assume that maybe Kubo might be implying something here either a Orihime is going to be incredible in this fight like she's going to be insane I'm not going to get to Orihime I, I like her as a character besides some of the issues she has I do like Orihime I do so with her going in I'm worried that either a she's going to get killed since this is like entering the final stages of the series or B I'm not worried about this, but it'd be interesting if she does some incredible type shit that we didn't expect and she actually manages to really help out Ichigo, which I'd like that, but it really depends. Orihime, being useful, being useful, gonna help out Ichigo against Bok. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll definitely see how that goes. We'll, we'll definitely see. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.